Today we're looking at the road blim. Hello everybody, welcome to Me TV Film, I'm your host. So yesterday, a package came in the mail, and it was this. This. Blimp. 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 Now, I'm sure you've probably seen one of these before. Whether it was in like a movie, in something, I don't know. But you may not know actually what a blimp does. So, a blimp, this is a blimp, um, is a windshield, protects the wind from getting into the microphone, and it's also a suspension system, which basically means it reduces handling noise. Like, so if the boom op is moving his fingers and hands around on the boom pole, it won't pick up into the microphone, so you won't be able to hear that sound, and, because that sounds really annoying, and so it won't be able to go out. <laughs> so that's what a blimp does. Um, now I'm going to show you what comes in the box and a full test, like a wind test and a handling noise test. Let's get started. So in the box it'll come with first a blimp suspension windshield system product manual, um, which is very detailed, lots of different languages, and has steps and diagrams and things that you're probably not going to look at. Then it comes with a comb for the dead wombat. Then it comes with a little hex screwdriver. Then the dead wombat. And then the actual blimp here. Yeah. So um, you may be asking yourself, what's a dead wombat? A dead wombat, um, sometimes called a dead cat as well, is not real dead wombat or cat fur. It's synthetic fur. Um, and it's just an extra windshield for high winds, or just normal winds, um, you never know. Yep, so now let's get on with the wind test. So the first wind test is just the microphone with no uh, wind protection or pop filter at all, um, with a fan on full speed, which is a uh, pretty normal wind um, outside, so let's get started. So now I'll be doing the microphone test with the blimp on, nothing but the blimp and the fan on full speed. Now here is the wind test with the blimp and the dead wombat with the fan on full speed. So what I found after that is that the bare microphone uh, in wind is completely unusable. I would never do that ever, 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 ever. The microphone with the pop filter was also unusable pretty much. There was, yeah, there wasn't, you wouldn't use that. Um, of course, that was, that was a bit more than regular wind. Um, but I would still never use it in regular wind anymore now that I've got this little baby. However, the microphone with the blimp on was completely usable. Um, in that high speed wind, um, you could hear the teensiest bit of wind, but it was mostly just the fan motor that you could hear, not wind. And of course, the microphone with the blimp and the a dead wombat was um, completely usable, no wind whatsoever. Um, just the fan motor that you could hear. So, yay. So now I'll be doing a handling test um, with just the microphone in my hands, then the microphone in the blimp, and then the microphone in the blimp with a boom pole. Let's go.
Now we'll be doing the handling test, the handling noise test of just the microphone. And that was the handling noise test of just the microphone. So here is the microphone in the blimp in my hands. Obviously that was very exaggerated, that you'd never have that much handling going on while you're just holding the blimp with your hand and you wouldn't be changing hands at all, you'd just be kind of holding the blimp, maybe a finger move every now and then. But obviously you couldn't hear a lot then. So, uh, yeah. So now here's a handling test with the microphone in the blimp and on a boom pole. Now I can say that pretty much all the time I'm going to be using the blimp, it's going to be on a boom pole. So I also got this boom pole uh, the other day, it's the uh, Rode Micro Boom Pole. Here is the handling um, with the um, the boom pole connected to the blimp. So guys, thank you for watching this very long video. I hope you learned some things. I hope you are wiser now. Um, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, if you'd like to see more videos like this, more MeTV film, more skits, which we are working on a skit, um, uh, and stuff, then don't forget to click the subscribe button. Um, and as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.